especially to those who are suffering in loneliness and depression. We want to support them with the things they need, such as hygiene, clothes, shoes, and even food from the outside world. All right, there's the flowers. Getting the flowers ready. We are so excited to deliver flowers today to the residents here in Southampton. respect and um, a lot of people don't have the same mindset and so when I seen the opportunity to start the nonprofit I hopped on it and it was a really great opportunity excited it's Joan's birthday today so we just want to surprise her and up with her day on her birthday facilities we see so much we see abuse we see the residents going without love um, family support uh, so many people have went days and days without talking to anyone um, family members are not checking on them they're not receiving uh, birthday gifts uh, snacks and personal hygiene there's countless of times where people have been admitted into the nursing facilities and have no clothes and they go days without clothes or shoes and so over the years as I seen the lack I knew that it would be a great successful nonprofit but what I didn't know is that a lot of people did not have the same mission and vision and people do not want to support the elderly community the way I thought they would. Um, it's more so let's take, 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 uh, not give. There's too many services that are out there taking money from the elderly, taking their pensions, taking their life savings, uh, taking their houses, taking uh, their life insurance policies. When you are admitted inside these facilities, they take everything from the elderly community and there's no programs that are really giving. And so whenever people were seeing that I wanted to give to the elderly community, um, a lot of people were a little confused and uh, they, didn't, they didn't hop on the wagon and they weren't really willing to support. However, for the ones who did, um, I am so grateful and I appreciate the love and support. I hope that this video will inspire other people to do the same thing, to give back to the elderly community, to treat them with love and respect, go above and beyond to make sure that they are taken care of because they have lived their lives, they have served, and it is time to treat them with the love and respect they leave in their last days.